Hey guys, today we're looking at lesson 3-5, use a standard algorithm to multiply multi-digit whole numbers. Um, after this today's lesson, we can use a standard algorithm to multiply efficiently and accurately. Um, this first problem that we're going to look at today, we're going to look and see um, Let's, let's just read it real quick. So it says, Wang Li used a standard algorithm to solve each problem. Estimate to find which of Wang Li's um, answers is not reasonable and circle it. So we're looking for the answers that are not reasonable, and then we're going to circle it. Which of Wang Li's answers is correct? Mark it with a star. So we're gonna put a star beside it. Find the correct answers for the two that are incorrect. So we have a couple of things we're gonna do. We're finding the ones that are wrong, we're starring the one next to that would be correct, and we're gonna find the correct answers for the two that are incorrect. So let's look at what we have going on. It says you can check for accuracy by using the inverse operation or rechecking each step in the problem. You can also check for reasonableness. So in these, let's look at some of these that we're doing. One thing that we can do is we can look at each of these and we could um, estimate to see if they're correct. So this one, I would estimate 309 to be 300 times 63 would round to 60. So I'm looking at that, I know that three times six is 18 and I add one, two, three zeros. So this one could be right. So we'll leave that as it is for right now and then check to see um, which one would be correct. So let's look at this one. This one, 7,005, let's round that to 7,000 times 18, well I know I can round that one to 20. And if I multiply that, I know that seven times two is 14 and I would add one, two, three, four zeros. One, two, three, four zeros. Now when I look at this, this is 75,690. This one is 140,000. So would this be a reasonable one? No, this doesn't look like it would be reasonable. So I'm gonna circle this one. And then we're gonna look at this one. Again, we're going to estimate 600, and then 72 is going to round to 70. And then I'm gonna multiply. I know that six times seven is 42, and I add one, two, three zeros. So I would think that this one is not as reasonable because it's a little bit further away. This one's a little bit closer, okay? So we're gonna circle this. Now, we're gonna find the exact answers to both of these. We're not gonna be using this spot around here, so I'm actually gonna work out these problems down here to find the correct answer. So now I have 7,005 times 18. So let's do the standard algorithm. We have five times eight is 40, put down my zero, regroup my four. Eight times zero is eight plus four is four. Eight times zero is zero, and eight times seven is 56. Now I'm gonna cross this out, put down my zero, and start again. One times five is five, one times zero is zero, one times zero is zero, one times seven is seven. Add it up, I have zero, nine, zero, six, twelve. So 126,090, so definitely wasn't the right one. This one seems like it might not be as reasonable, so I'm gonna re work that problem and see if it is the right answer, times 72. I know that nine times two is 18, regroup. Two times two is four plus one is five. Two times six is 12. Put down my zero, cross out my two. One, seven times nine is 63, put down my three, regroup my six. Seven times two is 14, plus six is 20, put down my zero, regroup my two. Seven times two, sorry, seven times six is 42, plus two is 44. Add that up and see if we get it. So that's eight, that's eight, that's two, that's five, that's four. So actually, it's a little bit off, so that one actually wasn't the correct answer. 
So by looking at this, this is the correct answer for this one. This is our, our correct answer for this one. And we know that this one was the correct. It was most reasonable because it was closest to its actual amount. Okay. Let's look at the next page. Again, this is showing us different ways you can multiply efficiently and accurately. We're not going to go through these because it's just giving us these um, answers and showing you how you can check to see if it's close to your estimate or not. So we're going to estimate, solve using an algorithm, and check your answer. So let's estimate first. So with this one, I have 28. I know that's going to round to 30 times 537. I know that's going to round to 500. So I know that 3 times 5 is 15. And then I add 1, 2, 3 zeros. 1, 2, 3. So I know my answer is going to be close to 15,000. So now I'm going to work out my problem. 537 times 28. 7 times 8 is 56, put down my 6, regroup my 5. 3 times 8 is 24, plus 5 is 29, regroup my 2. 8 times 5 is 40, plus 2 is 42. Then I'm going to add, bring down my 0, cross out my 8. 7 times 2 is 14, put down my 4, regroup my 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. 2 times 5 is 10. Now I'm adding 6, 13, 7, 8, 9, 10. Regroup, 4 plus 1 is 5, and a 1. So I can see that my answer is very close to my estimate, so I know that that would work. All right, I feel like that's all you really need to know is make sure you know how to estimate and then just to check your work and make sure it makes it makes sense. Um, so what I want you to do is I want you to circle five, seven, nine. Now let's look at the bottom because those are the ones you're going to do in just a few minutes. On 11 and 12, it says, analyze these worked examples to tell if the answer is reasonable. If the answer is correct, and if the answer is correct, if the answer is incorrect, solve it correctly. So let's look and see if it is uh, reasonable. So we have 209, so I would round that to 200, times 34, that would round to 30. So I know that 2 times 3 is 6. And then I add one, two, three zeros, two, three. So I see that this estimate is 6,000, and this right here is my answer. Does it seem like it's reasonable? No, it doesn't look reasonable to me because that's a lot off. So now we're going to actually work it out. So I have 209 times 34. Sometimes reworking it for yourself is the best um, thing to do. So I know that 9 times 4 is 36, put down my 6, regroup my 3, 4 times 0 is 0 plus 3 is 3, 4 times 2 is 8, put down my 0, cross out my 4, 3 times 9 is 27, put down my 7, regroup my 2, 3 times 0 is 0 plus 2 is 2, 3 times 2 is 6. Now let's add it up, that's 6, that's 10, regroup, that's 11, regroup, that's 7. So 7,106 would be my actual answer. So it looks like what they did over here is they didn't um, put the zero down and they made a simple calculation error. Okay, so now I want you to do that same thing over here for number 12. So was it correct? We said no, it wasn't correct. Do the same thing. You're going to check. Make sure your answer is reasonable. You're going to select yes or no. If it's not reasonable, select no. And then you have to find the actual answer. All right. So let's flip to the back. All right. I want you to do 13 and 14. And then let's skip on down to 18 and 19. Okay, so on the back, you're going to do 13, 14, 18, 19. And then back to the front, you're going to do 5, 7, 9, 
and 12. So I'm not making you do a whole lot, but just make sure your answers are making sense and that they are reasonable. Good luck, guys.